we're seeing things that nobody has seen before. And so every sample that we look at uh, is like a new research project. And it's really the whole system, the microscope, the hardware, and the software and algorithms used to analyze the data that make this system so powerful. Researchers at Sandia National Laboratories have spent years developing the hyperspectral confocal fluorescence microscope system. And now the technology is ready for commercialization. With specially designed hardware and software, the system allows both the rapid imaging of live cells in three dimensions at very high spectral and spatial resolutions and fast quantitative analysis to know the inner workings of the basic units of life as never before. The system uses the phenomenon of fluorescence to image and analyze proteins and other molecules of interest. Two fluorescent species often used to tag specimens are green fluorescent protein, or GFP, a gene found in certain jellyfish, and M. cherry. So we've just put the slide on containing the raw cells and we're looking for uh, cells that are suitable for imaging. What we're looking for are cells that contain a fairly large amount of the fluorescent species that we can see with our microscope. So we're just moving the stage and looking at different fields of view and trying to find bright cells. And when we do, Helen will focus it. This is the data file that we just acquired. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty. That is awesome. So we can see in this cell, we can see both the GFP signature and the cherry signature. Uh, let's go down through the cell and see what it looks like. Wow, that's pretty amazing. The team faced multiple challenges in developing the system. To truly understand what happens at the component level of cells, they needed better image resolution and speed to image live cells. They began with laser scanning confocal microscopy, a fairly common method of obtaining high resolution 3D images through the optical sectioning of samples. Then they turned to fluorescence, where light of one wavelength strikes a particular substance, causing an emission of light of another, longer wavelength. To image the fluorescence emissions coming from various sources, including fluorophores added to the sample and naturally occurring autofluorescence, and overcome the problems of noise and spectral overlap, they developed better methods of detecting the precise spectral information emanating from the samples. Well, we worked with the vendor for this, um, for this CCD detector to develop a custom readout mode um, that's geared towards uh, reading spectra um, single line spectra and what we've been able to achieve is um, we have the ability to record approximately 8300 spectra per second or eight roughly eight megabytes of data per second we can acquire continuously with this system so that makes it uh, reasonably fast we're not as fast as a standard commercial confocal microscope but if you're acquiring 500 times the data uh, going a little bit slower is is a price you're probably going to have to pay we're able to, with this new microscope, get a whole spectrum in the visible region. Most microscopes, the commercial microscopes, work with one or two or three colors. Uh, and we work with 512. Data analysis methods also required innovation, and the team developed new software based on multivariate curve resolution algorithms to provide rapid quantitative information about the specimens. And the efficiency and the, and, and the ability to um, analyze the data set in a, a very large data set that we look at um, in, a, in a couple minutes, whereas other people would take hours or days to analyze the same data set, um, makes it really usable for us. And I've put in tools in there that allows us to then uh, make it more specific for fluorescence imaging. I think a good example is um, autofluorescence, native fluorescence that's coming from the cell itself, and, and thinking that 
the fluoresce dot of fluorescence is actually what they put into the cell and until you can look at the full entire spectrum and the spectral components that are emanating from that image can you really d discern what is actually fluorescing and what is not fluorescing. Many researchers are gaining insight with this system and another Sandia design, optimized to study plant materials, is being used by a corporate partner. At Monsanto, uh, Christina Ubach, who is the researcher and biologist that we're working with, um, was able to, to show us a comparison of what she was able to do with their state-of-the-art technology commercial system and compare images side by side with our microscope and it's uh, a dramatic difference and she's able to see features, structure and information and quantitative information that she was never able to get before. It's sort of like uh, the golden age of biology right now and so uh, it's been extremely exciting to uh, put together a team that can uh, do everything, uh, design and build these unique microscopes, uh, develop new algorithms, write software, and put it together and work with biologists who really know the, the details of the biological problems and can help us address what are the most significant uh, problems in biology today. Mm -hmm.